um, just online with we just presented. I would just briefly introduce the <clears throat> uh, Cola Albrecht Field Manual. We discussed this uh, at the first day. Um, this is a so-called yellow book. Um, um, we have updated this yellow book that was in 2004, so we have a new version. Uh, it's not completely finalized. We still have in some uh, revision, but um, it's already available on on website and is also available as a booklet, pocket format, po uh, pocket formats to put it in in the vest and uh, electronic form f format uh, through the website, but also for uh, phone access. Um, so I'm gonna show you briefly how it's organized. I hope there is internet. <clears throat> so this is basically the, the, the yellow book. The, um, yeah, <laughs> we try to give it. Um, there are three main areas, introduction, um, you know, about acknowledgements, some information about cholera and acronyms. And then we have the, the 10 technical sections. So uh, from outbreak detection, investigation, confirmation, uh, response, monitoring, uh, risk communication and community engagement, uh, cholera CTCs, uh, case management, um, wash in the community, OCV, and preparedness and long-term. So then we have here the 15 appendices. So if you click one of these, this is how it looks. Um, you have some uh, contents and uh, additional resources, basically um, the appendices. You can also navigate on the right side with this kind of menu. Um, they are linked to different appendices, so data collection, you can click here and it goes directly to the appendix number five, which is the template for uh, line listing. Um, so you can open it, it's an Excel file, and you can save it, you can use it, country can use it, you can modify, can add some variables, you know, remove some variables if they're considered important. And as I said, um, we have 15 appendices, sections and appendices, and they can be downloaded. And this one is definitions. And you can obviously download it and send it to by email or WhatsApp or, or the social media. This is uh, regarding the yellow book, the uh, Korea Response Field Manual. But uh, additionally, we are working on a cholera app, smartphone app, which is different from, from the yellow book, from the cholera outbreak manual. Uh, it's more tools and resources, uh, like calculators, uh, job aids, uh, decision tree tools, uh, that will be available in Android and iPhone and obviously offline that can be used in the field without uh, any uh, Wi-Fi connection. This is the front cover, how it looks. Uh, it's organized in, in sections and we are currently working on a series of tools and resources, um, mostly on healthcare system and surveillance and wash. Um, we just received from the developers on Friday. Uh, this is just an example how it can look like. Um, this is uh, job eight for, for RDTs. So it's like kind of, um, uh, you know, a series of, of pictures that you can strip. And this is also the treatment flowchart. Uh, you are, you know, Clicking is it, uh, you know, meeting the, the case definition, yes. So you move to the next step. Is it, you assess for severe dehydration uh, based on, on the criteria, moving to the decision tree to help the clinicians to decide. So as I said, this is still draft, it's still revision, but is available online. Uh, if you want to access, please don't share yet further the, 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 the web, but if you want to look at and you find something that could be improved or bugs or something, please let us know. We're happy to, to do that. I, I presume that will be available in, in, in a couple of weeks, hopefully. 
and uh, make available for every for everyone. Uh, the the booklet is also on the printing, so it will be available by June by the global meeting, and uh, that will be also available in the Valentina uh, just presented in the website under the technical guidance um, on the um, general website. So that's it. Thank you.